people like you kept America's Most Wanted a, a hit, number one show for 25 years. So now I come out of retirement and I'm in my third season of The Hunt on CNN and we're catching people all over the world. And that's my beginning, because hey everyone, it's Arthur Cade, I'm here with the one and only John Walsh. The Hunt is back for season three. For those who haven't seen it, tell me all about The Hunt. The Hunt is a little bit different than America's Most Wanted. In the 25 years we did America's Most Wanted, we put four or five guys on a show, missing children. The Hunt is primarily one or two people in the hour. So you get a very deep look at what they did and how, they're, how they operate. And this season I'm picking my personal 10 Most Wanted. So I'm picking guys that I couldn't catch on America's Most Wanted. I had a great experience last year. I profiled a guy on the hunt that I've been looking for for 25 years. A kidnapper and torture of young girls and a hunt fan on vacation in Guadalajara, Mexico spotted him in a store like a Best Buy and turned him in. I went, See, the partnership with CNN is great, so this season I picked some of my worst of my worst. Has it blown your mind? I mean, we joke around obviously watching you growing up, but you changed the dynamic of television with America's Most Wanted. Does it blow your mind to know that it was on for a quarter of a century and how many people, bad people, you put behind bars? It was incredible because I remember all the critics. I never was on television. I was a hotel builder with a murdered son. and I, and I was trying to figure out ways to, to fight back, to deal with my anger, my frustration. And the American public, and, and really the world public, because the America's Most Wanted was broadcast all over North America and South America, they kept it a hit. And now what amazes me is the impact social media has. The hunt has become a, a social media hit. I tweet live during the show. I did a, an hour-long chat with, with uh, Facebook the other day. We had 5 million people sign on and I got 32,000 questions in one hour. So a whole new generation has, has, a whole new generation has taken up the hunt as their payback show that they could make a difference. It's phenomenal. Has there been one specific situation that's haunted you that you like, you're like, wow, I've got to get this one person, like you're most wanted. There is a guy who's still on the FBI's 10 Most Wanted who we deported to Honduras and he's probably in the jungle. He raped and murdered little girls here, five-year-olds, four-year-olds in America. The last murder he did was a five-year-old girl in Philadelphia that after he raped her, he poured lighter fluid on her and burned her body. We couldn't identify that little girl for almost two years. I want that guy. His DNA was everywhere, um, big snafus in the criminal justice system. He got out of America. He got deported. He was arrested for shoplifting and a DUI. He bonded out and took off. That's my number one guy. Someday I'm going to drag that guy out of the jungle of Honduras and he's going to come back and pay for those what he did to all those little kids.